All right, uh, this is a video showing how to use uh, Jupyter on Athena for CS110, the introduction to computing in processing. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start out by going to athena.brynmar.edu. And that will bring up this web page. And the first thing we're going to do is log in to Jupyter. And we can do that by clicking option number two. So we click that, and you should see a screen that has uh, the Jupyter uh, logo and a place for your username and password. Uh, if you type in your username and password and click, in, click on Sign In, then you will be taken to what's called your desktop. Uh, your, sorry, your dashboard. Uh, your dashboard uh, lists all of the files and folders that you have currently edited or created so far and you probably only see a couple of things. What we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new notebook by going over here to New and selecting Callisto Processing. So when you select that you will be creating a new notebook and you can see uh, the title up here on the left, Untitled 1. The first thing I'm going to do is change that by clicking Untitled 1. A little window will come up and let's call this Assignment 1. And then I press Enter. What you see uh, on the notebook view is uh, the name of the boat no notebook now and you see a series of buttons and a menu and below that you see one active cell this cell uh, if we click in this you'll see that it's surrounded by a green line uh, we can put one of two different kinds of things here uh, we can write code or we can put text and to start off uh, I always encourage you to put your name and title of the notebook and maybe a little bit about the notebook. So uh, by default every cell is a, as you can see right here, it's a code cell. So I'm going to change that to be a markdown, which is what we will use for text. Uh, in the markdown mode uh, you can use a hashtag to indicate a title. So this is assignment one. Two hashtags is a second level heading and I'm going to put my name here and likewise you could have three, four, even five uh, hashtag. Uh, if you write just a regular uh, paragraph uh, no indentation uh, it will be uh, just regular text. This is my assignment number one period uh, like everything that you enter in a cell you will uh, execute it or run it uh, you can do that either by pressing the triangle button or what's easier if you already have your hands on the keyboard is to press shift plus enter and you can see that that has taken the hashtag and all the text that I wrote and it's turned it into beautifully rendered text. Uh, if you see something that you uh, need to edit, uh, just double click in this area and it will open it back up. And shift enter again will execute it or render it. Okay, uh, now we're ready to uh, enter some code. So uh, we learned a few commands already. Uh, let's see, we know rect, and that takes, uh, it's spelled R-E-C-T, open paren, close paren, and you see that uh, Jupyter automatically fills in the, open pr the closing paren when you type the open paren. And uh, all of the commands in processing need to be uh, ended with a semicolon, so I'll go ahead and put that right there. Inside rect, uh, we know it takes four things. It takes uh, the X position of the left hand corner. So let's put uh, it over 10. And the second number is the Y coordinate, how many pixels down from the left hand corner. 
So let's go 20 down. Uh, the next number is the width of the rectangle. And let's make it uh, 60 pixels wide. And the last one is the height of the rectangle. And let's make it uh, 30 pixels wide. Okay, so that is a full processing program. And again, to run it, all you need to do is click on the triangle or press Shift Enter, like we did before in the text. Pressing Shift Enter will compile the program, and if it, there are no errors, then it will show you the output of the processing program. And you can see right below here, we have a little canvas, 100 pixels by 100 pixels, and inside that you can see the rectangle that we just created using this command. It starts over 10 on the x-coordinate, down 20, it has a width of 60 and a height of 30. Now I encourage you to play around with this. Uh, you can go back up to that cell and you can either change numbers. Uh, let's make another rectangle. So I'm going to copy, control C. I'm going to highlight. Control A is select everything. Control V is paste. And let's make another rectangle. Uh, this one I'm going to go over, say, 50, uh, down 40, and I'm going to make the height 30 and the width 70. So that's going to overlap the first uh, rectangle a little bit. So if I press Shift Enter again, it will throw away the old program that we had written before and will replace it with this new one. So I'm pressing Shift, Enter, it compiles it and runs it, and there you can see the, our new program. Uh, that second triangle went off the screen a little bit. Uh, let's see, which number would be responsible for the, the height of that? Well, that's the 70. So that's a little bit too big for this canvas size. I don't like that rectangle going off the screen. So I'm going to bring that back a little bit. Let's say that we only want it to be 50 pixels high. Shift Enter. We'll re-execute it, and there. Now we have a nice little sketch. So I think, uh, oh, at, when you end, uh, make sure you press Save, and then you can click on File, Close, and Halt. And that'll take you right back to this dashboard, and from there you can click on Logout, and you're back ready to log in. That's it for this one. Thanks.